The Robertson County Funeral Home has been serving families for a quarter century. When it's time to celebrate and remember, to honor in loving memory, the Robertson County Funeral Home. Uh, we had three of our newly elected people that wanted to uh, appoint a new mayor, and uh, and I was fine. You know that that's the uh, American system, and uh, but it just didn't work out. Uh, I think I think you can see by tonight the crowd we had here. Uh, I had a lot of support, and I certainly appreciate them. Uh, I've always tried to uh, do what I thought was best for our community. A couple things that were said were uh, kind of took me completely by surprise. And but anyway, uh, just in the last few days, some of these things, the the gentleman that was appointed mayor decided that his health wasn't wasn't going to be uh, the best for him, and he decided to uh, uh, walk away. And the vice mayor also declined. Yeah, and he, he declined, Mr. Forrester, and uh, so anyway, they appointed me back tonight, so uh, I, you know, uh, I, I appreciate everybody coming tonight, uh, the support uh, for our community, uh, for, for our, we appointed a new commissioner tonight, and there's no doubt in my mind that we'll pick up and go on even better prior to the election. So uh, we look forward to uh, getting a, a lot more done here in Cross Plains. And uh, I look forward to working with these guys. So we've got, we've got two brand new commissioners on the board and uh, they're young. And believe me, I'm glad to see them. I need to be trying to figure out who's gonna take my job one day. So anyway. So you were the mayor for over 20 years. And so then you were, you were not the mayor for about a month, and now you're the mayor again. If we're, any, anyone could guess how long has the has the situation in the last 30 days changed the way you see anything? Are you going to be the same mayor you were before? Or are you going to do anything new in the future? I'm always going to be the same guy I've always been. You know, just uh, try to treat everybody like I like to be treated. And uh, like I said in the meeting tonight, we're here to help. We're here for no other reason at all other than to help our residents, our taxpayers. Uh, and I think that's even going to make me even a, a better mayor by realizing that these people depend on us to, uh, to accomplish that. So uh, we, we've got a great community here. We're growing, and uh, I look for a lot of growth in the years. So uh, we, want to, we want to be here and help us grow. So. Uh, pretty unusual, though. Um, you have a mayor who's brought in, mayor for less than 30 days, brought out, and the previous mayor goes in. Can you think of any circumstance that's ever happened before anywhere in the world? <laughs> no, I really can't. Uh, I cannot. I mean, if you would have told me all this last month, uh, I wouldn't have believed you. So uh, I'm glad. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I love this community, and like I said earlier. Uh, I'm glad to be back and uh, look forward to working. And Sounds like the community's behind you. I think so. I'm behind them. Did you know you were going to be um, nominated? I didn't. I didn't. I, I was. I was really glad to have almost been elected uh, a couple of months ago, and, and now I'm, I'm very, very humbled and proud to be to be here tonight. What's your plan? I want to. I want to help. Uh, Mayor Faulkner and the rest of the commission to uh, make Cross Plains the best it can be. I know we have a lot of growth headed our way, and I want to make sure that we embrace that and make it the best that it can be for, for Cross Plains. Any closing statements? No, we're glad you're here. And I hope, uh, I hope everybody that sees this will realize that we are uh, a well group. Our community here and we depend and lean on each other so thank you for coming for the ones that don't know daniel was born in this area and his uh, dad was the uh, principal at east robertson uh, elementary slash high school for many years and since he left that position he started as headmaster at davidson academy and i think is he still there Kind of sort phasing of, out. Yeah, sort of. He's sort of. You there. want to have a seat right down there by Mr. Forster? Be great.
After the addition of Daniel Cheney as commissioner to fill the void left behind by Henderson, the attention of the meeting turned towards the absence of a city manager. During the appointment of Henderson of Mayor of Cross Plains in last month's meeting, the city manager, Chip Hellman, resigned his position. Exactly why Hellman resigned his position still remains unclear, but newly reappointed Mayor Faulkner told Smoky Bar News that he wants Hillman back in the position. Faulkner told Smokey Bar News that he and Hellman have been friends for many years and he's planning on reaching out to him directly to see if he can convince him to come back as city manager. And for the city of Cross Plains to function properly, they really do need a city manager. Smokey Bar News will be in constant contact with officials as soon as we have word on Hellman's decision or uh, the selection of another city manager, we will of course bring it to you. And remember, when you're looking for news that's important to you, turn to the news leader in Robertson County, Smokey Bar News. Payne Chevrolet makes you feel at home. They work hard to make the trade so you can get the vehicle that you want. You're not a number at Payne Chevrolet. They treat you like you're the only one. Willie Donick with all the reasons people come to Payne Chevrolet. It was a great price. They treated me very good. It's not part of a big corporation. It's locally owned. They won their game. They just made us feel very comfortable. Eight decades, three generations, one tradition. Payne Chevrolet. I love Payne Chevrolet. No better people in the world.